This is Ted. Today I'm going to briefly talk about why I think Todd Bentley could actually be helping the charismatic movement through his terrible behavior. And I think what's going on is he's exposing the world of the charismatic movement in a way that is extreme. It's pushing it to the limits. The charismatic movement has thrived with a culture of elitism. It's thrived with a culture of greed. It's a culture of fake lies and exaggerations, um, not only in degrees and titles and uh, healings and everything, it just thrives in an unhealthy culture. And, and I think, uh, I think Todd Bentley took it to extremes and uh, went too far with it. Uh, everything he did, you could see in other faith healers through the past hundred years. You can see them uh, throughout the movement, everything he's done and yet he's pushed it to limits that are even too much for them and and i should say too much for many of them and for those who are seeing this it's good and it's healthy for them because they are reflecting uh, on themselves and saying and perhaps we're losing something here and all are seeking out and trying to find out all everything we can about uh, how to make people feel something what are we missing? What's going on that we're doing wrong? And they're coming up with good conclusions. We need to return to some basics. And I think in that respect, Todd Bentley's helping the movement. Unfortunately, you have people like Rick Joyner and others who are trying to support or else push everything behind or under the rug, and they're not gonna help the movement at all. That's all I got to say in this one. It's going to be a short one. Have a good one. And by the way, have a fantastic day. We'll see you. Bye. I'm going to have to disagree with you. Most people do not want to know about Todd Bentley's life, his real life. They like believing in the lie that he is a godly man. And you will have a lot of supporters going back to him. Even those who don't, who just can't face the fact that he is ungodly, even those who don't want to face it, but have to face that and accept it, will just move on to the next Todd Bentley who comes along because they want and they need these people who lead them and help them believe that the emotions they have are from God and help them to believe that what they're seeing up front are real miracles. They want to believe it so badly and so much that they're not willing to accept the truth. No, I believe this will continue. And I think there will be very little fallout from the Todd Bentley mess. This is Ted number two. Have a good one.